Hi everyone, my name is Heather and I'm the person behind Happy Puppy Truffles. Today I'm going to share with you guys another traditional origami. Today we're going to make a traditional origami tato. Uh, for this origami, you just need one piece of origami paper. I'm using a traditional piece of 15 by 15 centimeters. Uh, this particular tato was usually used for wrapping and holding small seeds uh, or other such things so you can find lots of fun ways of using it. It also makes a really cool looking coaster. What we want to do is we're going to start off here and the general result has takes good use of having double sided paper so if you have that it really helps. With the color side facing up I'm just going to fold my paper in half diagonally both ways. And then I'm going to take each of my points and fold towards the center. Go around and do that for all four sides. Once you've done that for full four sides, go ahead and open everything up. And we're going to take and fold each tip to that edge that we've just folded. We'll go around and do that for all four of these. Once you've completed that for all four, then what we're going to do is take the uh, tip and fold back out to the edge we just created by folding. So you reveal a nice little tiny bit of red here in this case, a little triangle of red there you can see. And I just go around and do this then for all four sides. Once I've completed that, then I'm going to take everything. I've got all of those four tabs folded over. And we're going to go ahead and take each of these and fold them over into the middle. So if I flip everything over for a second, now I'm going to take the side that you see here and fold the edge that I've just made right towards the middle. And Make that as straight as you can, fold it over. I'll do the same thing with the next one here, folding in towards the center. And you don't have, you just fold right over what you've worked on. Just try to do best to keep everything nice and straight. Do the same thing with this side. And then the last side. The last side will need to be tucked to finish the nice pinwheel effect. So if I take stuff here and open it up, you can kind of get that to go underneath and reverse. And when it lays flat, you get a nice pinwheel effect like this in the middle. And that is how you make a traditional origami tato. I'll have more uh, fun projects to share with you guys in the days to come. Thanks again always so much for watching, and I'll see you all next time. Bye!